Okay, how's this gonna go? Behind the scenes, November TBR. Um, yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay, we back in business. Why is there always like 15 plus books on these TBRs? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have an explanation? No, but you know what? That's what this is. <laughs> Let's go. Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So, forgive any background noise, but we're just gonna have to make this video because your girl has not been able to make this video. It's been a crazy week. I need to get this up. So, anyway, just transparency. Forgive any background noise. Uh, SEC football's going on today. You already know. So, <laughs> um, today I have got a lot of books to share with you. Not gonna read the synopsis about, about these. I may pick one or two. I say that, but... We'll just go on. If I don't read a synopsis about it, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever I got time for, we're just going to get into it. So, yeah, November. Y'all, October, there were so many books that I got to read. So, I mean, I said October was going to be the month of reading, reading, and I feel like I just, I got it done. Today's Saturday, October 28th, and I have read about 11 books this month, and I've still got to fill my end of month wrap up. But um, right now, I'm currently reading Anne of Green Gables. So I should finish this before the end of the month. Should finish this today. And then I do have these two books that I need to read for review. Sundown, this is book three in the Sky King Ranch series by Susan May Warren. And then Where the Blue Sky Begins by Katie Poner. Um, yeah, I'm excited about both of these books. I just didn't get to them so far in October. We still got three days, right? I mean, hey. Um, but if I don't finish these, these will continue on into November. So, other than that, let's get into the big book stack, which I was struggling with holding to take that thumbnail. You already know, but we're just going to have to dive right in. Uh, so, the first book that I'm going to read this month is Her Christmas Redemption by Tony Shallow. This book comes out at the end of November, November 29th. Really excited about this. I'm all about Christmas, y'all. That is my favorite holiday, and so I'm on her launch team for this, and she so kindly sent me this. I just got this in the mail today, and it's so cute, little short read. I'll read a little bit about what this is. Can she find a second chance on a town's holiday wish list? Organizing her church's Christmas wishes program is the perfect start to Vivian Dupree's new life, one without the shame of her recent mistakes. But as she grows closer to co-coordinator Michael Wood, she's even more determined to keep her past hidden. Together, they can give joy to their small town. But when Michael discovers her secret, will he be willing to grant Vivian's holiday wish forgiveness? Y'all, this gonna be good. I knew when I read the synopsis that I was really interested. I love Tony Shallow. Her first two books that I've read were In Search of a Prince and To Win a Prince. These two right here. So if you've not read these, I highly recommend them. They are just some of the best contemporary romances I've ever read. They just have great faith content. It's just amazing. So put these back in here <laughs> before they get crazy on the shelf. But uh, but seriously, I just love Tony Shallow's writing. And so I'm so excited to be able to read this and let y'all know how I feel about it. I think it's going to be a cute little Christmas read. I'm just ready for Christmas time. I love Thanksgiving, but like Christmas is my jam. I'm going to be decorating early. Um, as you can see, we've already got a few things popping in here. I uh, don't want to have too much just yet because I've already filmed a little bit. For my vlogmas content i'm gonna be pre-filming vlogmas content so that's why early decor will be coming in but also because i love it but anyway <laughs> so just fyi but um yeah i think that'd be really cute and while we're on christmas i'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the other christmas book i want to read this month and that is all i want for christmas by maggie knox so I read The Holiday Swap last year by Maggie Knox. It was one of my book of the month books. And when I saw this come out, I was like, hey, I'm getting this ASAP. So I ordered this on Amazon, got it in the mail a couple weeks ago. And yeah, look at the cover. So cute. And y'all, you already know why I was ready for this. You ready? This is set in Nashville, Tennessee. Do I need to say more? I mean, I'm a Tennessee girl. I just, I love stories that are set in Nashville. I uh, really enjoyed the holiday swap. These are not Christian reads, but they are clean reads. Cute little romances. Just like that perfect Hallmark movie is what the holiday swap was like. And so I'm just really hopeful for this. I'm definitely going to be reading this this month. Um, I already got the audio on my library. It's ready. So 
hey, listening and doing at the same time while reading, we're here. Um, but I've already read the synopsis, I think, for this. But basically, this is about Sadie and Max and their contestants on this reality TV show, um, Star Maker. They think they've hit their big break in Nashville and they have to be paired up for a duet. Uh, and it's like stun the world with their romantic chemistry on stage. And so fans are going wild for the hashtag Saxy because her, her name is Sadie. His name is Max. So they're called hashtag Saxy. And the network is starting to demand that they remain a duo and um, on and off stage or exit the competition. So they basically have to fake date. All that stuff. This sounds like a great time. Uh, hey, I'm here for it. It's all the Christmas vibes. Y'all already know. So the next book I'm going to read this month is Death by Bubble Tea by Jennifer Chow. And I'm, I'm really excited. Look at this cover. Just a cute little cozy mystery. I'm excited for it. I'm going to buddy read this with Chrissy at Chrissy's Purple Library Sky from Read Through the Sky and Lindsay Lemus. I will leave her Instagram below, Lindsay's Instagram. And we're just really excited to have a fun little buddy read a cozy mystery. I think this is going to be a good time. Y'all already know that I tried bubble tea for the first time this past month. Lindsay did as well. And then Chrissy like loves bubble tea. So she hashtag influence girl. And I mean, we're just all here for the bubble tea. So Yes, ma'am. So, I'm going to be reading this one. I'm not going to read the synopsis for it. want to go in blind. But a cute, cozy mystery that's happening. Uh, still trying to keep the cozy mysteries alive this month. So, the next book I'm going to read this month is the second book after Anna Green Gables, and of Avonlea. I am just adoring all of Anne's adventures in book one that I really want to continue on with book two. So yeah, I'm definitely going to continue on in this one. And I love this edition. I got this at Books Up Man. It was only like seven or eight dollars. I think this was in the children's section. I can't believe I've never read Anne, heard her stories. Just so heartwarming. I can't wait to just talk about all my feels with this in my end of month wrap up, but this is the TPR. We're going to keep going. So a lot of you all are going to be reading nonfiction reads as well for nonfiction November. So I thought it's been a while since I've read a nonfiction book. And so here we go. I've got several nonfiction books on my list this month. And first one, I have the audio book that I borrowed from the library. I'm going to try to get through it. It's Kind is the New Classy by Candace Cameron Bure. I love her so much. I heard she's coming out with a new podcast and all these things. She's one of my favorite actresses and just favorite people in general, uh, celebrities and things like that. I just love her. Um, just such a kind person, genuine, funny, all the good things. So I really want to listen to that book. And so that's right here. <laughs> and then I've got these three right here for nonfiction. <laughs> Tebow. Sky has influenced me to read some Tim Tebow. Timmy T. <laughs> she would say. Hey, Sky, I see you, girl. But um, Shaken is the one, first one I'm going to read, uh, Discovering Your True Identity in the Midst of Life Storms. This was written several years ago. Looks like it got 2017 Christian Book of the Year. And I just love Tim Tebow. A lot of the things he does for the community, y'all see him on Instagram. He is doing so much to help other people. He spreads God's word. He is just such a good person and a good Christian uh, influencer in the internet, I would say, as well, uh, because he's shares a lot of scriptures and things like that and he's hilarious too if you ever watch him on college game day he cracks me up and so yeah I just really think he's a good person as well and I want to read some of his nonfiction. so I'm going to read this one and then Mission Possible I'm going to read this as well I think this is more of a recent release for him so yeah I'm going to read this and I'm excited. My husband's actually wanting to read them too so hey we love to see it will he get to read them I don't know he don't read much uh, at all. So, um, we're going to try. <laughs> we'll see. Um, he loves football. So, that's probably the only thing I could probably get him to read. But, hey, that'd be nice. And the next book I'm going to read, y'all, you already know if you're on my Instagram. But, is Sam Hewen's newest book, Waypoints, My Scottish, Scottish Journey. I love everything Scottish. You already know. Outlander. Hey, we'll talk about that in a minute. But, um, this right here, Sam Hewen, I just... Love how he portrays Jamie in the show Outlander. So I follow him on Instagram and he does a lot of different things that I just love to see. It's funny. So this is funny. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited just to kind of read this and see what his life was like. I think that's what this is about. Um, all about his Scottish journey. Hey, we got a little signature there. I mean, it's basic, but hey, I ordered, I pre-ordered this like months ago. Um, and I've read some of his books. He's wrote two books with... Uh, Graham McTavish, who plays Dougal on Outlander. And I, I've read Clan Lands and Clan Lands Almanac. 
and I, I loved those books. They were so much fun. They are hilarious to listen to on audio together, and so I did pre-order this, but that's not how I'm going to be reading it, okay? This is really, this is, um, you know how the question of do you buy books because they look pretty or do you buy books because you want to read them? This one was bought because, hey, we love Sam Hewen and I needed it signed. And so, this is going to be like something on my shelf. But um, <laughs> I'm going to be listening to this on audio because he narrates it. And y'all, I can listen to Sam Hewen narrate anything at any time. He has just such a great Scottish voice. Yeah, I'm going to be listening to that one on audio. But I had to have physical copies. So, hey. Now, moving right along, since I talked about Sam Hewen and Outlander, <laughs> I'm going to be rereading out later this month. It's a chunk, but hey, we got the book weapon and I'm going to be reading it. If you, I'm not going to spend much time, but it's my favorite series of all time. I've read book one through nine and she's still writing book 10. It's not done, but uh, hey, we'd love to see it. This book was actually written in 1991. I know. And, <laughs> but she's been writing it. And the other day I was saying, she didn't write this for 20 years. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. 30 years. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm saying 30 years. Okay, I'm 32, and here I am still thinking the 90s was 20 years ago. Don't ask. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's wrote this in, in 1991, and I just love book one. I've reread it several times. Chrissy and Skye are going to try to read it as well this month. I am so excited. I hope they enjoy it. If not, it's fine. It's not for everybody. It does have explicit content, but this... This, the love story in this book is so real. <sighs> I just love them. They're my favorite couple of all time. And it is my favorite series ever. So, yeah. Going to reread it. The next book I'm going to read is the Christian Book Club pick for this month, which is Fox by Nadine Brandes. Uh, I've already mentioned this in one of some of my other videos. So I know several of you have said you're going to pick it up too. But yeah, super excited about this. All you have to do to participate is just pick it up at your library or wherever and read it. And then I'll do, well, I'll a lot of us will talk about it in our wrap-ups. We can all chat about it in the comments, all that good stuff. And so if you know, I already talked a lot about Wistress by Nadine. Absolutely adored it. If you've not seen Chrissy's review, it's spoiler free. It is the best video. I will link her video below for Wistress, just so y'all know. But we're going to be reading Fox. I'm so excited. Chrissy's already read Fox. She really enjoyed it. And I'm just, this was also in my five star predictions video. So hey, we love to see it. I really think it's going to be five stars, but we'll see. I mean, I have high hopes because Wistress is on such a pedestal for me. You already know. So, yeah, I won't be reading it. And I hope a lot of you all will pick it up as well for the Christian Book Club pick this month. Next book I'm going to read this month is Targeted. This is a bind up that has three novellas. Uh, romantic Suspense Novellas by Lynette Eason, Lynn Blackburn, and Natalie Walters. I've never read anything about these authors, so I'm really excited to get to them. I'm going to buddy read this for, with Alicia from For the Love of Christian Fiction. I will link her channel below. But yeah, I'm excited to get to this. Baker Publishing did send me this to honestly read review. So I will let y'all know what I think about it since I've never read anything about these. But I, like, I really like Romantic Suspense reads, so I think I will really enjoy this as well. Three books here that are possibilities. And I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but hey, we're going to go ahead and talk about them just to say, hey, this is on the list. Is it going to happen? I don't know. But the first one is Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe, a novel told in recipes. Hey, uh, Jenny Colgan. I've never read anything by her, but I know she has some Christmas books. And the reason I picked this one up here, she's a secular romance writer. And I, I'm pretty sure they're clean. I don't know, but we'll see whenever I get there. But, um... I picked this up, Christmas at the Cupcake Cafe, by her at Books of Man, and I didn't realize at the time, should have looked on Goodreads, but didn't realize this was actually book one. So, I'm going to try to get to this. We'll see. It is kind of chunky, so if not, it's fine. Then we have these two, and I talked about these in my five-star predictions video. That's why they're on here, um, because I really want to get through to the, all those books by the end of the year. And Jewel of the Nile is the first book. This is a biblical fiction, and then we have... Legacy of Mercy. This is book two after Waves of Mercy, which I absolutely adored. So, yeah, these are also in the possibility list. And then I have some others here, you know, this whole thing. So, we'll just go down the line here. If, if 
something happens because i'll take i'm gonna take a little time off this month uh you never know when i get done reading but assassin's apprentice is still on my list so is um the final empire but we're not gonna throw it on here they'll we'll throw that in there in december um so that's still on there we'll see I do have some net galley books that i need to get through and authentically izzy by pepper basham that's definitely gonna get read this month it comes out in the middle of november gonna read that early november uh the blackout book club I can't remember the author. Here's the picture, but that's on my list. And also the personal librarian. I really want to get to it. I forgot I have that physical copy here. So that's on the list. This was in my five star predictions video. If I, this could go to December, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I've just got a lot of like possibilities. I'm just, I don't know what I want to read. I'm kind of wanting to mood read a little bit, but then there's some books I definitely want to get to. It's kind of a weird feeling. A lot of us have said, I just want to read all the books. So you're writing everything down. By the time you know it, you got like 15, 20 books on there. And you're like, well, this ain't all going to happen this month, but Hey, these are the ones I'm thinking about. So yeah, that's all the books that I'm interested in right now. Let me know in the comments below. Have you read any of these books? Which one should I prioritize? Let me know your thoughts. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye y'all.